Hey everyone, Paige Castellan here. I'm just getting back from my Forbes 30 Under 30 conference that happened this past weekend in Boston. And today, of course, I wanna share some of the biggest learnings I got from the conference. Um, I get to attend every year, so this was my second year. And I made the Forbes 30 Under 30 list in 2017. So I made it in the energy category for helping a solar powered airplane, Solar Impulse, fly around the world. And on that project, I was a whole lot of only. So I was the only American, I was the only female engineer, and I was the youngest person on the ground crew. So of course, when you are the only, only of something, it gives you an awesome opportunity, number one, to learn because you're so far out of your comfort zone. And then number two, opportunities to be differentiate, like, yeah, to differentiate yourself from other people and potentially make something like the Forbes 30 under 30 list. So I think every time I'm at one of those conferences, I'm so thankful I'm part of that community because the biggest thing I take away is just how much is going on in the world and how many unmet needs there are in the world that like I'm completely blind to. So, you know, of course we live in our little bubbles um, and even though we expand and try new things, we still are viewing the world from just our perspective. So I was talking to one of the girls and introduced myself. Hi, I'm Paige, how are you? And what do you do? And so then this girl is telling me about how she's developing a process for 3D printing houses on Mars. I'm like, what? I didn't even know that was a problem. Okay, like thank you for solving that problem. Another guy related to space a little bit too. He was telling me all about how he's building routers that will circle the world and help satellites transmit data down to Earth because right now there's a bottleneck because of like the definition of data and all of this stuff about satellites being mostly over oceans, you know. Again, who knew that was a problem, but there's someone out there solving it, someone out there revolutionizing the world before people are even concerned about it. So I think that it's cool because you roll up to this event and by no means does anyone have an ego. No one's like trying to be intimidating, nothing. Everyone realizes that this is a really cool group of people and everyone's pretty accomplished and there's definitely, not even most likely, there is definitely someone that is smarter than you, more accomplished than you are, more ambitious than you are. So like why have an ego? So to go into some details about my biggest takeaways, the first day of the conference was all about women at Forbes. So it was for women that made the list or um, other kind of VIP guests and they had a ton of awesome speakers. So the woman who invented Bumble was there, the main character from um, Insecure on HBO, she was there as well. And they're just delivering these powerful messages. Um, one of the things that I always think is like kind of interesting is when I'm sitting there, um, first of all, in the first three minutes of me sitting there, I texted my mom and said, this conference is revolutionizing my life. So first three minutes are that powerful. But sometimes I hear similar messages that I hear over and over, like fake it till you make it or your differences are your strengths. And it's really not those phrases, you know, if I just said them or like when I just said them, they're not dramatically impacting. You're like, I've heard those over and over again. Okay, cool. And it's like when I'm sitting there at the conference and I hear someone talking about how like their differences are truly their strengths, I'm sitting there thinking, oh my God, like this is a revolutionary concept. But so the, one, the woman who talked about differences are my strengths, she was a venture capitalist. And she was talking about how for so long she was fighting all of these things. And, you know, like I said, only woman, only, uh, or the youngest member, only American. It's like figuring out how to take all of those things that make you different, align them with your passions, and then just go rock the world. And that's how this woman was talking about her career. And I thought, that is the smartest thing I've ever heard of. Um, the one woman who was the keynote speaker, she is in the TV show Insecure on HBO and something that she was talking a lot about is faith it until you make it. 
So not fake it until you make it, but faith it until you make it. And um, she said that she's very religious, but she said just the whole concept of faith and having faith in yourself and your abilities, like don't just fake it because faking it, people can see through that, but faith, like you are determined and you know that you can succeed and you know you can get to that status that you wanna get or get to that position or career or anything that you wanna get. People can see that you have faith in yourself and then that makes them believe in you and that's where you're, where you're gonna get opportunities. Okay, so then moving from the Forbes Women Conference to the middle day that I was there, um, it was kind of a bunch of different talks going on. So I attended a talk from Anthony Scaramucci, who was Donald Trump's um, communications guy for 10 days. And then I attended a talk from the woman who invented Spanx, who's also a fellow Tridelt, so hey, hey. And, um, and then Kyrie Irving. So a very different range. Like, so we got communication slash politics, business owner, and then professional sports player. And they're just all sharing their messages. So I thought one thing that um, Anthony Scaramucci did really good, um, so especially speaking to a very liber liberal crew, the Forbes 30 Under 30 group, he did a good job of just talking about you know, you're gonna have a lot of different opinions than someone else. And it's it's definitely hard not to judge that person, but you have to also, instead of just pointing fingers and saying you're wrong, you should try to understand where they're coming from. So it doesn't matter if you end up agreeing with them or not, or they end up agreeing with you, but if you understand where someone else is coming from and maybe why they made a certain decision, it can really enlighten your view of the world because again, like I was saying, we live in our little bubbles even though we try not to, but it's sometimes hard to really get to that root cause. Another thing he said that I thought was really good is remember where you came from, but also remember where you are. And he was talking all about how problems arise and shit starts totally hitting the fan when you let your ego and your pride get in the way. So don't forget, like be humble, like know where you came from, know all those steps you took to get to a certain position, but then don't take that position for granted, especially number one, if you have a voice. That was something Kyrie Irving was talking about. He said, if he could go back and never say the earth was flat, he would totally do it just because no matter what he thinks in his head or what he, um, he was saying like YouTube's a scary place. You can go on and you like watch a couple videos and it's the world is a whole different thing than you thought it was. So he said no matter what his opinions are on anything, he realizes how powerful his voice is now and he has to take a step back and appreciate that but then also be careful about what he's expressing and teaching people when he speaks. The, one, the woman from Spanx I thought was really great. It was the woman from Spanx and the woman from Rent the Runway were on a panel together talking about women-owned businesses and also how their products are made to benefit just unmet needs of women. So the woman from Spanx told the story about how she needed um, kind of little shorties or something to wear under a white dress and nothing was available. She was Googling, she was looking on Amazon, and then she just ended up having to cut off um, the legs of tights that were like kind of the compressant type of tights. And then the woman from Rent the Runway was talking about how like women love to wear clothes. It's not necessarily owning clothes that are that is the attractive thing for women. It's like wearing it, returning it, wearing something else, returning it. Like that's totally fine. So that's what her business model is. And going back to that whole concept of, you know, when you're in your little bubble, you don't necessarily think of all these challenges another person might have. Like for me, first of all, especially where I do my work with autonomous vehicles right now, like I would never wanna make a decision for someone from another country. So perfect example. I, in my little elevator pitch for autonomous vehicles, I used to say things like, yeah, autonomous vehicles will be great for a country like India because of the traffic and all of these things. 
And then I went to India to visit my friend and realized there is no way in hell autonomous vehicles like will work here in its current state. The infrastructure needs to change. The, I guess, road rules need to change. You know, I was, India is such a beautiful country. I enjoyed the time I was there so much and my good friend that was taking me around showing me her home country. But it's very different than what I see in America. Like. I looked out the window one time and a camel was pulling a cart down the road. And so it's like when you're programming autonomous vehicles or something or designing autonomous vehicles here in America, like no one is programming, oh, that is a camel, it's a cart, just avoid it. Like that is not one of the biggest considerations people are making. So it's like to get a product to India and autonomous vehicles, like you need experts from that area, experts that know the market firsthand. So that's why diversity is so important in business. And, you know, invent something for yourself. I think that was one of the cool things that I learned about venture capital this conference. They were talking about um, how really investing in companies is like using your money to vote for the world that you want to see in the future. So if you want to see more women-owned businesses or if you want to see businesses focused around um, like bike, bike sharing, bike riding, I love riding my bike around the city. So something like that, like you have that power to give the support to the companies and invest in them. So I thought that was an interesting way of probably dumbing down venture capitalism to the lowest level for anyone to understand. But yeah, you're voting with your money for the future you want to see. So in, this, in the end, I mean, I could ramble for forever about how phenomenal the Forbes 30 Under 30 conference is and just all of the people I met, all of the things I learned, all of the opportunities I really had in that small three-day event to just become a better person, to become a better educated person, and make some friends while I was doing it. So it's an event where you can apply to be a scholar. You could apply to be on the list. You can um, always just attend. You can buy a day long pass or a conference long pass, but I definitely recommend it. And yeah, hope you guys check it out sometime.